Attributes CM study was a randomized, uh, double-blind, placebo-controlled study uh, examining acaramidis for the treatment of patients with ATTR amyloid cardiomyopathy. The primary endpoint was a hierarchical analysis of all-cause mortality, followed by cardiovascular hospitalizations, followed by NT pro BNP, change from baseline, and change from baseline in six-minute walk test distance. And the study met its primary endpoint and was highly statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.0001. The primary endpoint was also significant on the basis of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular hospitalizations alone. And the results were consistent across all the different components of the primary endpoint and also consistent uh, with respect to different patient subgroups. So I think that this is a, you know, a robustly positive trial, if you like, and I think it will be you know, exciting to have another treatment option available in the future for patients with ATTR amyloid cardiomyopathy who, as you know, have a progressive and fatal disease. It's a very good question. I mean, there have never been, first of all, there have never been any head-to-head -head studies. And secondly, we don't know for sure whether, for example, using them in combination may actually be beneficial. From a theoretical perspective, it would make a lot of sense to use them in combination. If you can remove, you know, 85, 90% of your TTR and then stabilize whatever's left, you may be preventing ongoing amyloid formation even more effectively than you are with one or the other drug, but we don't know at the moment. So I think it's difficult to say. It's also difficult to say, you know, people will ask, is it better, is a gene silencer better than a stabilizer? You know, there just haven't been any head-to-head -head studies, so I think it's difficult to comment. <laughs>